USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Almost entirely along party lines, the U.S. House has passed a resolution condemning President Trump's recent tweets about four Democratic women in Congress. The Democratic resolution refers to Trump's comments as racist after he said the lawmakers should go back to their countries. The Democratic women are all American citizens, only one having been born outside the U.S. But Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan says of the Democratic resolution. They are solely focused on doing what, doing whatever they can to stop this president instead of, frankly, working on what can help the country. Retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens has died at 99. Back in 2010, then-President Barack Obama said of him, He's worn the judicial robe with honor and humility. He has applied the Constitution and the laws of the land with fidelity and restraint. This is USA Radio News. This time it was the San Francisco Bay Area that was shaken by a couple of earthquakes yesterday, about 13 minutes apart. The first of magnitude 4.3 east of Oakland, followed a few minutes later by a 3.5 aftershock. No reports of injuries or damage. R&B singer R. Kelly staying in jail. A federal judge ordering he be held without bond on sex crime charges. It means Kelly will be taken from Chicago to New York to face a separate count of allegedly sexually abusing girls across the country. Kelly was arrested again on Thursday evening of last week. He faces a total of 18 charges now in Chicago and in New York. Scientists say Alzheimer's disease could be slowed by exercise. A new study by Harvard Medical School finds about 9,000 steps per day appears to slow rates of cognitive decline in those at risk. And you're listening to USA Radio News. A judge is further restricting the social media use of Donald Trump ally Roger Stone. Here's the latest from USA Radio's Wendy King. She says no more Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Stone, who was already charged in lying in the Russia investigation, is now in deeper trouble after a federal judge said he repeatedly violated her gag order. District Judge Amy Berman Jackson didn't send Stone to jail or fine him in contempt. She said his behavior was more appropriate for middle school than a court of law. Stone has used social media to attack the case against him in the broader election interference probe. Jackson issued the gag order in February following the posting of an image of the judge in the crosshairs of a gun. Stone is scheduled to go to trial in November. He has pleaded not guilty. Bitcoin is losing value as U.S. lawmakers are questioning Facebook over its plans to start a cryptocurrency. The digital coin dropping nearly 13 percent of its value yesterday as the Senate Banking Committee was questioning Facebook about its plans to launch what it's calling Libra. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle saying they don't don't, uh, trust Facebook to begin with, so they certainly wouldn't trust a cryptocurrency it's launching. And the on-again, off-again Woodstock 50 Music Festival now appears to be off for good after a Vernon, New York planning board rejected an appeal for a permit. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.